welcome my dear students in the today's lecture we are going to see the chromatography okay now in the chromatography we will see what the how to separate the mixture of ink now if you have uh, ink for example black ink okay or blue ink that ink we are using for writing okay this ink is a mixture of different dye okay now from that mixture we can separate the different components of the ink okay now chromatography is a technique which is used for uh, the separation of the color pigment okay from its mixture now what is chromatography chroma this term chroma chroma means what chroma means color okay and graphy means to draw graphy means to draw or to draw a graph okay so by the meaning we can understand that this is the separation technique useful for separating the color pigment okay and these color pigments are we are getting at the paper piece okay that's why it looks like a colorful graph okay now what we have to do what is the practical procedure how we have to uh, how we can perform this chromatography now for this we want a glass jar okay this is a glass jar okay now another thing is we want a paper strip this is a paper strip from this to this okay this is a paper strip this is a glass jar okay now paper strip we want the paper strip of width 5 cm okay and 22 cm long okay this is the dimension of the paper strip okay and which paper we will use we will use watman filter paper number 42 okay now in this jar what we have to take we have to take a suitable solvent now here the suitable solvent is water okay generally dyes are water soluble ink are water soluble that's why we can use water for the chromatographic purpose okay if we are changing the mixture if we have different type of dyes we have different type of color pigments in a mixture then according to their uh, solubility according to their nature we have we can change the solvent okay or liquid now these are the three basic things glass jar paper strip and solvent okay now what is important this solvent is absorbed by the paper this solvent is absorbed by the paper and by the capillary action it goes to upper side okay means this is a mobile phase this is a mobile phase it will mobile it will move from bottom to top okay now what we can say this is mobile phase now this paper strip is as is this paper strip is as it is okay the mobile phase will move on the paper strip and paper strip remain as it is that's why this paper strip is called as what what we can say this is stationary phase stationary phase means there are two phases okay there are two phases this is first one is mobile phase another one is stationary phase two phases are very important in the chromatographic technique 
okay mobile phase and stationary phase stationary phase means which is stationary which is not moving now <coughs> what happened this water is absorbed by this paper and by the capillary action by the capillary action water moves from top to bottom now this is a point or spot at which we have added or we have put the mixture of ink okay generally this spot of mixture is at the distance of near about 2 cm from the paper front this is the paper front and this is the paper front okay so ye bottom wala front hai ye <coughs> top wala front hai to bottom wale front se 2 cm upar humne spot kya kiya hai put kiya hai okay according to our convenience 1 cm pe bhi kar sakte hai 2 cm pe bhi kar sakte hai 1.5 pe bhi kar sakte hai okay now when the water absorbed and by the capillary action when the water goes up it dissolves the dyes dyes water may dissolve ho jayenge okay because of the solubility now because of the dissolution what happen due to the difference in rate of adsorption okay due to the difference in rate of adsorption okay now adsorption ke rate mein difference hoga do agar do component hai iske andar to dono component ke rate of adsorption mein kya hoga difference hoga aur rate of adsorption mein difference hone ki wajah se <coughs> ye jo ink hai okay this ink which is soluble in water it will move okay it will move and because of difference in rate of adsorption they get adsorbed at the different places or at a different height okay so in this manner what we have they we will get two different spots okay for ink one and for ink two okay spot one and spot two these spots was present in this mixture and it get separated by the mobile phase due to difference in adsorption <coughs> speed or adsorption part uh, what we can say different rate of adsorption now this is the paper chromatography and it is useful for the separation of the colored pigments or colored compound okay the moving phase is termed as the developed solvent okay this solvent is also called as developing solvent okay okay what it can we can say developing solvent okay mobile phase is termed as a developed solvent the moving phase travel through the filter paper on account of capillary action so this is the paper chromatography you can easily perform at your home also okay you can take the black ink okay uh, which we are using for the ink pen okay uh, you can buy the Wattman filter paper from the market it is very easily available in market and you can do it at home you can perform it at home so this is a practical activity okay and this enrichment activity you have to perform at home you have to try at home okay whatever the result result ki parwa nahi karni hai aapko ye trial karke dekhna hai okay so ye trial aap kar sakte hai to main aapko ye prefer karunga i will prefer you to uh, this enrichment activity you can do at home and take the experience of this chromatography how the ink get separated by the paper chromatography so this is a homework for you okay student if you have any problem you can comment in the comment section okay and you can directly call me if you have any query about this